What is up in army? I am GameNair5 coming at you with a brand new video and welcome to kind of a special weird video for today. Um, we are currently on our summer private world that uh, we've been running for the last like couple weeks and um yeah me and i are on here and, and i will unmute that part of the audio <laughs> so, uh i'm pretty certain she can hear me right now <laughs> as she's nodding <laughs> um anywho this is our um private world that we're this is i'm Stumbling on my words. This is, was this is our last day of the world, so we decide we're gonna do a tour of it. As, <laughs> um, so as we get this, as I'm gonna be getting this world ready for something that will be announced in probably a couple days from now, um, for a project between me and her for this next season. That this world kind of online area will be used for. So, uh, to get ready for that, we're doing this as our last thing. And, anywho, now that all that's out of the way, you can now speak now. Say, <laughs> <Hey>, okay. <laughs> anywho, uh, we should probably go sleep. <laughs> We, we are both in creative mode, so it doesn't entirely matter, but... But I'm just gonna quickly run to my I'm house. Still in creative mode. The mobs still jump scare me once in a blue moon. <laughs> like, one time a spider just spawned right in front of me, and I just flipped. <laughs> it was when I was, I was just here by myself. <laughs> one day. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> For this. <laughs> Two seconds. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that works. Yeah. Okay. So, this was kind of our first, like, Minecraft world we ever kind of did together, other than the main server that she built her house on. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, which place do you want to start at? We should start at where we first started and then work our way up. So we can start here and then we can work over here and then we can then go to the Belfry and then my little tower. Okay. So, like, we can start from the beginning and then, yeah. Okay. So, um... This is o over here. This was what um, you deemed as your area um, as we moved further on in this. Hey? But we did share it, though. Like, I still consider our little, this little area uh, both of ours. Yeah, but this is where we started, and I then built that weird-looking base over there. As, and, oh. <laughs> And, uh, yeah. Um, let's just go to this tunnel that you randomly built, and then I I just made it look nicer. The main reason why I built it is because I needed to escape some mobs, so I'm like, okay, yeah, let me just quickly do this, and then I can just get out of that. <laughs> yeah, that does I was looking at the cows, and I forgot it was getting dark. <laughs> I forgot to tell you that earlier. <laughs> Well, you've never told well, that me that. That was the main reason, but you know the other reason. Uh-huh. I wanted to be creative and I had to escape. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so this was our starter area that we both, um, worked on. Uh, I can't even remember how long it took for us to build. A couple days. Because we were in survival mode at first. Yeah. Yeah, we we originally decided to start the world as um, 
a full survival wo world, which we quickly went off of. Because of how time-consuming it was. Yeah. And then, um, after that, we uh, went into the hybrid mode, and then, yeah. We built all this in survival. <laughs> I'm still very happy with. Yeah. Yeah, it turned out quite well for the first build worked on between me and you on kind of survival. Uh, this is where we slept for the first little bit. I just like how it wasn't completely like this at first. Like, it was like pretty much like a flat square and then you Yes, it was completely down. flat and I added this to make it uh, not be a square. And if I remember correctly, I think the beds were like right here at first and then you made this. No, they were right here. Oh, they were right here? Okay. Yeah, I added, no, I added this um, on our, after, uh, after you went off on the first day, I added this underneath the staircase, mm. which connects to our storage uh, system up above, which is right here. And a lot of chests, are, uh, I'm pretty certain a lot of them are empty. I do know that the first three have something over here, and then... Oh no, there's another row is filled. This one has a little something, that's empty. This Holy has something. Holy cow, that's a lot of stuff in this one! Empty, empty. <laughs> I'm not gonna check, but bother to check, no, that's empty. And then, those have the materials that you decided to put together. Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah. Because we originally decided to keep things, uh to like label them then we didn't and then we just i think randomly threw things and <laughs> to some of them hey i did try to stay organized like look all the charger maps that you and i found i put them in here and then yeah this is really yeah. just i found like all the stuff that we were raiding yeah. and stuff yeah we found a lot of stuff man mm -hmm. this isn't even all of it we found more yep but you're using a you're using one of the one of the things, the Escalera, if that's the, correctly. The uh, Elytra? The, the Elytra, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I have more in the bottom of my base. Mm -hmm. And in the chest in my uh, starter base. And we, and then no matter who finds it, we both share it, no matter what. Mm-hmm. Yep. Then, uh... Now, we did have quite a few encounters with this uh, cow pen, didn't we? With a creeper spotting it. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand why it kept doing that, but, you know, we managed to just take it out whenever it happens. Yeah, with both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Th there used to be, like, 50 cows somewhat in this pen, and I killed most of them. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, that I did, that little hole and that that mountain. Um, we were needing a lot of stone, so I dug a really big hole. <laughs> that is such a good mob spawn area, too, I, I realized over the past yeah. few weeks. Mm -hmm. um, these were two creepers that blew up. <laughs> and we decided to fill them with water. <laughs> and now ice. <laughs> <laughs> It's because I have Frostwalker on my boots. <laughs> but, um, yeah. This was where we first, um, started and we, uh, just kind of spent, I think, a just a couple days here. Yep, and then you decided to branch off into your little area after yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, we, we got... Um, quite a lot done in the first week that we had this world running, didn't we? Mm-hmm. We found, like, three treasure maps. We, uh, discovered a couple of secrets, and then, yeah. 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 Yep. As, uh, she was still learning the game, and technically I was still learning, uh, the survival aspects, as I've never really done a full survival world, and then we quickly backed off survival, so... <laughs> I mean, sometimes I turn off my creative and just go and kill mobs and stuff if I feel like it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
But, um, yeah, this was a very good starting area, and we made quite a few adventures out to a village that we will probably show later on. <laughs> hey? Mm -hmm. That was that. such a pain to get our villagers to leave and stuff like that. Like, I think we only spent, like, two hours just doing that. Oh, yeah, that took... That was such a painful experience. It's because <laughs> it was the setup of the village, right? Oh, yeah, the... the we'll definitely show you guys the village a little bit later on. It was probably the most annoying village to have to take villagers out of. Yeah, it was... In my opinion, it's kind of a dumb spawn, in my opinion. Like, it was so tiny as well. Yeah, it was. It was a very small village. Now, even though we already kind of showed it because it ran into sleep, um, this was my starter base. That was technically not a starter base because we already technically uh, got started in the little base over there with the tree on top. Um, but uh, this was a lot smaller than... Pretty much any of the, well, this is the smallest starter base I've ever built. And, well, actually, I can't say that. I think my igloo was smaller in, in season two. But, um, <laughs> um, for as big as the other starter bases, this was quite small in comparison. And, yeah, in here we have more of our loot from uh, exploring and stuff. Oh, and in this one. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot in this one from exploring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we went on exploring a lot. Even in this one, we have a lot. I remember while you were building this place, I was on survival mode. And remember I was talking about, like, the drowns throwing tritons in my face? Yep. And then I died, actually, with the ting in my that face. Was right, that was actually over there in the little little bay right off the main base. Yeah. And then we both, our first deaths in this world both came at the hand of a tr of a drown. And I kept going back to try and kill the same one and I died three, two more times to the same guy. <laughs> Which was so funny. And it, it was on easy mode too, so. Uh, yeah. yeah. So Minecraft, can you explain that? <laughs> Yeah. Anywho, this was a, a area that I worked on a little bit. This was uh, some farms that we worked on, um, that I worked on, and yeah, um, it was more you. Yeah. The um, this was an iron farm, uh, right here. It didn't entirely work, as well. The zombie kept despawning, and I kept trying to fix that. That's why this was here. I was trying to get a zombie to spawn, and uh. Get him to hold a weapon, but that never worked. So I just backed off it and just left it. <laughs> but we did get quite a bit of iron from this. But um, for our next project in here, uh, we will definitely be doing a whole lot more <laughs> uh, farm-related stuff. Then this was a mob farm. It seems to be working right now, but it's off and on. As uh, let me just. I gotcha. Thank you. <laughs> um. Yeah. Up here, I, I just I built this in su as such a rush, and I know I'll build probably a lot more complex one next time round, but. We didn't really need it for that much. We just needed it for XP, and this was the best design I could come up with. So, yeah, but, like, the storage system I have for this one really wasn't even that good, like. <laughs> and I will say, there was, at a time, there's still quite a few down below us. Uh, because when, zom when I couldn't get... Um, zombies to uh, hold um, a s weapon. I decided to hit them off. <laughs> so there was a lot of drowns underneath. <laughs> There's still quite a few, but like, it was quite funny. 
There was like, I think like 10 drowns at one time just right here. <laughs> Which was quite funny to see. Um, anywho, um, let's just quickly duck inside to uh, go to sleep quickly. Also, these are two cats. <laughs> it was very random that I just said these are two cats, but... <laughs> I didn't really care to name them, even though we were in a uh, in creative mode. They're, they just put them here, and I never really moved them afterwards. But um, yeah, I guess next thing. Um, let me creeper. Let me take a shot at him. <laughs> and goodbye, other creeper. <laughs> And your aim is actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yep. We should probably try the slinger and when once we get Splatoon 3 going. Mm-hmm. Then over here, this took two days to build. This was pretty much all me. Not pretty much, it was all me. It felt longer than two days. Yeah, because I tried to do this in survival mode. <laughs> this is so hard. Um, this was our villager village trading hall, which uh, was a lot of work. I now know why people say that villagers are such a pain. I know that know why now. They really are. And um, just back here was um the breeder that I had, which. It's a very, very generic breeder. And, uh, I literally just went up top through bread in and that was it. <laughs> Where did you go? I'm right behind you. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking around like a madman. <laughs> But yeah, up here is where I would um, throw bread in to uh, to get them to breed. And you can see that little rail right in the middle. That's where I, um, I had a minecart to trap them to get them in. And that was such a hard process. And these, are, these two are actually the original villagers that we actually had. These were the two that we stole from the village. And they're still alive. Yep, shockingly. Because this has no roof. We've had multiple lightning storms. And, uh, yeah, still living. Anywho, over here, this is my base. <laughs> and we both went for DC-themed bases for, uh, for in this world, right? Yes. Even um, though we did uh, not plan that at all. <laughs> yeah. We just did it. Yeah. Um, well, take, we and you were so patiently waiting Gotham Knights, so we were both in such a DC mood when going into this. But mm -hmm. um, this, I, I didn't really base it off of Gotham Knights. I based it off of Arkham Knight. Uh, well, Arkham Knight, uh, the, uh, the big clock tower I based this off of, and, uh, yeah, it turned out decently well. It's a lot bigger than pretty much all the bases that I've done, uh, before, so. But I didn't really complete this floor. This is the only floor that didn't really get completed. Also, because I didn't really know what to put down here. <laughs> But, um, we did have quite a few stuff get put in these chests. <laughs> we had so much, just these two. <laughs> All the rest are empty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anywho, um, guess second floor first? Yeah. 
Because the third floor is technically the main floor, so. Anywho, this is the second floor. I based this for her. This was going to be her floor. I literally did this. Very last minute. This is literally the last thing that I built on the world to, uh, uh, because we, I knew it was ending right after we, uh, um, chatted last, the, well, that, not really last night for you guys. This is probably releasing a week after we're filming this. So, um, like right after we chatted, I built this. Well, actually, while we were chatting, I built this. And, uh, yeah, it turned out quite nice. Went for a Nightwing theme because, well, she's Nightwing. And it's her favorite character anyway, so... <laughs> him and Batgirl at least but we'll I see feel that. like Nightwing's more more though yeah because he's the he, he and I share kind of a similar personality yeah yeah anywho this elevator brings you to my floor this is what was my base um and I based it off uh, this is <laughs> bum stumbling again this is meant to be the back computer, so I stuck a bunch of paintings on it. <laughs> it worked. Weirdly, but it worked. But, um, yeah. Um, then I had this little back area here, which, uh, you were just looking in. I didn't really do much in here other than building it. I haven't really done much, so... I just, I really wanted to get it done. I got it done. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. So, now Geronimo! <laughs> I love building those. <laughs> then, uh, yeah. Guess we should go look at your base now because we came all the way over here without, well, well actually, before we show that, this is, um, the nether island that I built not that long ago. Um, and we have, when we went to the nether, I don't even think we used this portal, did we? I think so. Did you move it? Uh, yes. Yes, so we did use this one. This is actually the only one that we have. Yeah. Also, this is kind of funny. This was the first place we met on the world. Well, technically, we actually met on that boat. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I don't want to say you were late getting on, but while I was waiting for you, I just happened to find that. And then uh -huh, I was like, hey, yeah. come to this boat. Uh -huh, just yeah. And then we stayed on this island for the first night, chopping down trees. And then we ventured off that way on a on boat. And uh, then we came back here and settled and yeah. It was quite a bit of fun the first, uh, first night that we, uh, did this. <laughs> uh, well, it wasn't really a night, it was just an afternoon. <laughs> it, it felt like it was so much longer than just an afternoon. <laughs> From the amount we did that one, one night, hey? Mm -hmm. I'm surprised how much done we got that day, too. Yeah, yeah. So, now let's go over to her base as I walk on water. <laughs> <laughs> she went, um, teen, with the Teen Titans Tower, um, for her base of, uh, this summer. So, uh, yeah, we totally didn't plan to do <laughs> DC, both of our bases as DC. DC themed, but uh, it ended up turning out that way. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that you going the way you did it probably would have been a lot quicker. <laughs> Anywho, you take us on a turn. 
Okay, so this is our the Titans lobby. Normally in the show and stuff, they don't have a lobby, but I decided to add one because why not? Mm -hmm. so, technically, this isn't finished, but you kind of get the general idea. Yeah, we also kind of ran, ran out of time and other stuff came up. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then we have a staircase yeah. going up. I just randomly put this here because why not? Yeah. yeah. And that... There are lots of spiders and stuff spawning in here, so I just kind of did that to stop it. Yeah, all the frog lights. This was... We started this right after the update came out, I'm pretty certain, yes. right? Yeah. Well, you yeah. actually got the game just after the update came out. Mm-hmm. A couple weeks after, maybe? Uh... I wasn't thinking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. This is the second floor. This would have been like a... Like a laundry room kind of idea. Mm -hmm. I remember yeah. they had it. I, I I do remember they had it near the bottom of the floor. Mm -hmm. the, of the tower. Yeah. It doesn't matter which one you're basing it off of. You can base it off of which one you're thinking of. Like the original Teen Titans, the Titans show, or Teen Titans Go. But it's either one. If mm -hmm. you want to yeah. think of one of those. The one yeah. that I grew up with was the original Teen Titans, and then I watched a little of Teen Titans Go, and then I watched most of Titans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Titans I haven't really watched one. any other Titans, so... <laughs> Titans has been the best one. Mm -hmm. And then if we go up to the second floor... Yeah, I, I will try and get to that. But we're stuck. <laughs> I, think, I think it's more effective if you go down, yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. I've found that out also. Okay. This would have been the living room space. Living yeah. room and kitchen space. Yeah. Which obviously did not get done. <laughs> nope, unfortunately. I think we're still planning to do more in this world, but we have to shut it off for the next thing we're doing, so... Mm -hmm. But just things that aren't complete yet probably won't end this way. It'll probably they will probably get completed at some time in the future. Yeah. But we, we don't just know. we're not entirely certain as to when. <laughs> and then this is an extra room. I don't know what I was gonna do here exactly. <laughs> Okay. Because the because um the that floor to the roof here was really tall, so I'm thinking, oh, I can maybe just add another room. Ah. Got and it. maybe think of something. Yeah. Hmm. Yep, and obviously that this didn't get done either. Yep. And then if we go up one more. These are our bedroom spaces. Yeah. Plus what was this supposed to be again? Like a lounge kind of area. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anywho, um, yeah. This was her room, and I had a little room over there. Yep, because I, you, I, uh, invited you to come and pick a room. Yeah. Yeah. I went very red, as per usual. <laughs> <laughs> and orange. Uh, more red. Yeah. <laughs> more red. <laughs> <laughs> then uh over here this was her room you open door <laughs> yeah this mm -hmm. is the armor that you gave me too i i left it here <laughs> that you crafted that's, it. that's funny yeah you also have another set in here <laughs> yeah that's the set that uh i found yeah when we were in the Oh, where were we? The, uh... Ancient City. Yep. I had to think, I had to think as to where we were. Um, yeah. We should probably sleep. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, um, our base has turned out quite well, I would say, for the amount of time we... Um, spent on them. No, yes, neither of them we fully completed, but, um, they we did quite well, all things considered. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm definitely certain we will come back, but we're just not entirely certain as to when. 
Yeah, I, it probably won't be the rest of this year because we're definitely gonna be busy with other titles. Yeah. Because this year has been a rally. Yeah. Oh yeah, with with Splatoon three coming out in early September, that will pretty much uh, take a lot of our time. <laughs> For like most of September, pretty much. Yep. Yeah. And then October, we're probably still gonna do it, but I think. Well, we have Gaminator's something else we're working on that we just them. cannot really talk about yet. <laughs> yeah. And then, Game Air, you're gonna post some uh, Gotham Knights stuff once you get your copy, right? Around end of one, starting November. Yeah, that's gonna start November. Uh, not entirely certain when yet because I'm out of town when it releases. <laughs> Yep, and then I'm obviously going to be playing by myself, and then I'll be helping you out if I can, and yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, um, do you want to go to the village? Show sure. them it. To show how, cra how annoying the village was to get villagers out of. So will we walk in or will we teleport in? Well, I'm just gonna go grab a boat. <laughs> hey, we're in creative mode. We can you can just spawn one. Oh yeah. <laughs> See, so even if we're in creative mode, we forget. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh we have to go this way, right? It's in a jungle, that's all I remember. Yeah, and I've been there three times. <laughs> I've had to go there twice via boat, and I uh, got lost once. Okay. I'm ready. Okay, give me three seconds. I spawned one for you. Oh, thank you. Here I come. Okay. Alright, let's go. We have to go past my base, I'm pretty certain. Well, yes, I know what's past my base. We are going into the jungle, which is... Pretty much the last place we went, like, that's as far uh, away we went, right? Pretty much, and then we cheated and defeated the Ender Dragon because you wanted to show me and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, we have no idea where that was. <laughs> hey? Yeah, because you just t randomly teleported to it. Yeah, and then you followed. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. We kind of abandoned the whole genre of doing survival quite quickly. <laughs> yep, we're gonna have to get used to it when we do it in the fall. Yeah. Well, literally. Well, by the time you guys are seeing this, we're probably already started or about to start. Yeah, it really depends what we're doing. Uh, whatever we're doing and this, uh... No, you guys will know... Fully what's happening around, well, at year end, we'll fully announce what's happening, right? Yep. But, uh, no one really knows yet. Why is there two, oh, I was like, why is there two cobblestone blocks on the top of a tree? <laughs> what? Do you see that one tree, one jungle tree, there's two cobblestone on top of it? Was that you? Yeah. Remember, I was scurrying away from the zombie. <laughs> mm. As you climbed the one big tree. And <laughs> you were like, I don't know if we're going to be able to get to the very top big tree. And then somehow I found a path to get to there. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we had quite the adventure getting to that village, didn't we? Mm -hmm. I think we spent another two hours just looking for that. Yeah, around there. Yeah. This was a boat that I raided over there. Um, like, once, uh, she, uh, um, once I logged off the day we found the village, I came back and raided everything that we saw on our way back as we literally, uh, filled both of our inventories. Hey? Yeah. Anywho, I'm pretty certain it's this way. <laughs> it was quite nice, um, just going, uh, through this and 
adventuring, and that was like, like honestly, that was one of the funniest nights we had on um, in this world. Hey, mm-hmm. doing that big adventure and uh, which way is it? This is where I get lost. <laughs> I feel like it's this way. Yep. Still close behind? Yeah, I'm literally right behind you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This I also raided. That, uh, like, both of these I raided at that same time. And, yeah. This was a ton of fun. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, just over here is the village that we, um, went through. Um, uh, can't remember which way. I think it was just a. It, um, hmm. I think it's right here. Yep. Yeah. Yep, there's the village. This was the most annoying village I've ever come across. In mm -hmm. the over, like, I've been playing this game for, I want to say probably around eight years or so. Something this was like pro this was the most annoying village I've ever found. <laughs> I remember, too, going in, like, this little cave area, and out of nowhere, a creeper killed me. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm like... Okay, you're right there, Golem. Why couldn't you just come and kill it? Yeah, this was the weirdest village ever. <laughs> like, um, we did pretty much raid everything from here. There's pretty much nothing left. But, um, yeah. We, um, you can probably tell, like, I made this path to get a villager down. And there's this villager left. <laughs> but, like. This, it was so annoying to get villagers off this, hey? Yeah. Because, like, we had one, then the boat break broke, and I don't even know how. <laughs> and, like, and then we, we both had, I had a full inventory, so I was throwing things to you to make more boats, and then, like, it was a complete and utter mess <laughs> getting villagers off this hill. Hey. Yep. Like if we had a bigger village and a villager a villager closer to us, I don't think it would have been that big of a headache. Um, but like this was so was far this away. Huge, I think what? the major problem was this huge mountain. I think that was the problem. Yeah, this was so annoying because boats can't go uphill. <laughs> or they can go down, but like with villagers having this path it makes things a whole heck of a lot harder. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we... We spent, I'm one to say, like, two to three hours trying to get them out. Mm-hmm. It was a very long process. It was. And... I mean, we'll say with whatever... With what we do next, we will definitely figure out a better way to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, hopefully the village is a better setup than this. Um, I've already seen the world that we'll be using next, and there's two, and they're a lot flatter. <laughs> That's good. Uh-huh. Yeah. But yeah, this was the village that we uh, raided right at the beginning. And, well, not right at the beginning. How far in did we raid this? Huh? How far in did we raid this village? Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure. It was in the first week, right? Either first or second week. I'm pretty certain it was first because didn't I build the villager training hall in the first week? It's somewhere around that zone, first to second weeks. Yeah, but like, it it was a really fun long session that we had and. It was really annoying at the same time, but it was quite fun. <laughs> and we 
We weren't that smart not packing beds. <laughs> no. So we had to steal villager beds. Yeah. But take it, we learned some things from that, didn't we? Mm-hmm. <laughs> to always pack beds. And then take it on, didn't on a future um, trip that we made, um, didn't we forget beds again and you went and drowned yourself and... Yeah. Even though we could have just typed in the kill code. Yep. <laughs> well, I think, weren't we still trying to do things legit then? Yeah. But, yeah. It, we did find out doing things in survival quite a lot longer. <laughs> mm hmm But, um... Think of the kill button. You and I just pranking each other while you were building the belfry. Oh, that was one fun night. <laughs> She was, well, I started that, hey? Yeah, I was like wondering, how are you doing that? And then I eventually figured it out. <laughs> yeah, um, she was, um, being, well, technically, actually, you started it by being really annoying. And I was like, I, I'm tired of this, so I just typed in the slash kill and <laughs> started. Yeah, I was actually trying to be like a bat. Batman character, and I was like, Oh, I'm hiding somewhere, you gotta find me. <laughs> and, and then she was standing at the very top of the tower after I built the roof, and just staring at me, and I'd just be, like, randomly typing it, and... <laughs> it was quite a bit of fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Honestly, if... If we had any more warning that we would have been doing this this summer, uh, we might have filmed it, but, like, I feel like the fun we had off-camera was, like, so much, so, um, something I feel like we wouldn't have really had if we were doing it on-camera, hey? Yeah. That's why. But, um... I'm certain we will make a lot more fun with with camera with uh, the next world that we do. Hey. Yeah. I'm hoping we can get like a lot of stuff done in like a matter of time. We'll we'll have that world a lot a lot longer than this one, so <laughs> we should be able to, hopefully. But. Would Saying that, I'm not even done my one world, um, the aircraft world, I'm not even done my base, well, can't really say it, well, actually, I can say that, because this is probably releasing on the Monday, so, um, Monday of the final week of August, so, um, yeah, probably safe to say my base is definitely still not done, <laughs> but, um, yeah, we had so much fun with this world. Hey. Yeah. And for our first thing together, I feel like we accomplished quite a lot and like it was just randomly that I um asked like I'm pretty certain it was quite random that I asked um if uh, you'd like to do this and literally the next day I or no, that night I had it set up. Then the next day we were, the next week we were on together. Hey? Mm hmm. And like, it was completely out of the blue. Like, we couldn't have been, I think, more unprepared for uh, doing it. Hey? Yep. But we had a lot of fun with it, and. Yeah. So. This is taking 44 minutes. <laughs> Which comp I wouldn't have thought 44 minutes for a tur. <laughs> hey? Yeah, I was thinking it was going to be about 20 to 30 minutes. <laughs> well, was I wrong? Yeah. Well, I don't... I Originally, I didn't think we would be showing the village, but we showed the village. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I'm gonna sleep. We're gonna sleep quickly, and then I think we're gonna call it. 
and uh, I'm probably going to shut off the world for. <laughs> yep. Uh, well, me and you will probably say our goodbyes to the world, but um, <laughs> we're not really going to do that on camera. <laughs> no. Because I don't entirely know what we're going to do to call it a day on this world yet. <laughs> Anywho, um, can you, where about are you? I'm at the very bottom. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm heading to the villager trading hall, so. Alright. To where our exiting chests are. As this is where I'm going to end the video. So, this probably shrugged a lot of people because this was very, a very different type of video to do, but it was fun nonetheless. I, like, I don't think me and you have ever done a video like this before. No, this is my first mi Minecraft video with you. Well, not like, that's not what I mean, like, a video that has both of our voices, but not in the same room. No. Because, like, we've done videos in the past together, but ne yeah. never apart to the point that we are right now. Mm-hmm. And just a, just a hint, there's going to be a lot of this in this upcoming year. Yeah, a lot of uh, yelling. Yep. <laughs> that... well, you might want to keep your headphone or whatever you're using for audio kind of minimal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've done some testing and stuff and for uh, Splatoon versus when we do that and we will have both of our voices in that so that'll be so much fun mm -hmm. <laughs> but without further ado I'm gonna call it a day on Game Near 5 signing off I hope to see you all in the next video big thanks to I for doing this with me um today thanks for having me on <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> um and anywho i will see you guys in the next video um being that i haven't made the media week schedule yet i have no clue what it is so yeah anywho i will hope i hope to see you all in the next video i'm calling it good